In this section we will talk about the Power Geopack pulldowns up here at the top, like the file pulldown, the edit pulldown, element, and so forth, and what you need to know, at least on a MoDOT standpoint, of what tools uh, that are available underneath there that will be pertinent to your job. The first pulldown is the file pulldown, and that just has some of the standard file options that you normally see with other applications, like if you're creating a new file, opening a new file, close, save, and so forth. Now, one that may be a little bit different is the update server copy, and that is because MicroStation, or Power Geopack, is integrated with ProjectWise. And what the update server copy does is, let's say if you're working in this file, and you want to update the copy in ProjectWise, and still leave this file opened up, maybe if somebody else was wanting to see this file and want to see the changes that you've done, is you can hit that update server copy and it pushes the changes from your local machine which is the file that you have opened up and pushes it back into project wise that way if somebody else opens up that file they'll be able to see your changes of course you got the compress save settings and a bunch of other stuff underneath here which mostly should be self-explanatory one that you may run into is the export option um, like if you're exporting out to an AutoCAD file that's, this is where you can do that at or if you need to maybe export it from a 2D file to a 3D file or vice versa that's this is where you can do that also in your file pull down you'll also see the last 15 files that you've opened up this works out really good if you're working in between jobs maybe two or three jobs and you're just maybe making let's say quantity changes with those jobs instead of going to the file open trying to navigate to that job and opening up that file you could go down to this list and it'll actually open up that particular DGN file for you. So, like I said, it just looks at the last 15 files that you've opened up and gives you a quick list right there for you. Underneath the edit pull down, those are just some of your standard editing tools that, that are underneath there for like your cut, copy, paste, if you're wanting to group or lock stuff, that's where your standard editing tools are at. The element pull down, there's probably not much underneath there that you'll need to look at, so to speak. You may look at the um, dimension styles if you need to tweak your dimension style for some reason while you're doing dimensioning, or maybe like a text style. That may be another spot where you need to go to that particular text style dialog box, select that style, and maybe make, make tweaks to it, depending on what you're doing. Um, another one would be the information button, which is also this one right here basically just gives you information about that element if you select it whether it's text or a circle or a cell and stuff like that underneath the settings pull down basically just has some of your settings options underneath there a bunch of different tools that you can look at at your own leisure um, I'm not going to go over each one of these just kind of give you I'm just kind of giving you a brief overview of what's underneath there and stuff that you may look at down the road Underneath the tools pull down, of course those are all your tools that you'll see inside MicroStation. If you don't see a, a certain toolbar, this is where you may need to go in there and open up that particular toolbar, let's say like your primary toolbar, which is this one right here. If we come back over to our tools pull down, and that, if that's unchecked, that toolbar will no, long, no longer be there. So, if you go back to the tools, this is where you can turn off or turn on certain toolbars if you need to do that. And then also you have all the MicroStation tools that come with the product. Some of these tools that we don't open up to our users um, by default, just simply because you won't use them. But if for some reason you know there's a certain tool out there that can do that, you can always go back through here and look and try to find that tool if need be. Workspace this is where you can get to your workspace preferences if you need to tweak any of that also your function keys or button assignments if you want to change that at your own leisure um, your geopack tools this is where all your geopack tools will be located at and you'll learn about that in the geopack classes we'll kind of skip over that underneath the window pull down here's where you get some window options if you want to open up different windows and so forth and if you want to cascade them or tile them and, and so forth this is where all those tools are basically located at. Subsurface engineering tools that deals with um, kind of like your drainage tools and other engineering tools that you may utilize. 
but that'd be covering a total different subject, so we're going to basically kind of skip over it. Underneath the MoDOT pull down, that is where we kind of have some of our custom made applications or MDLs, that's where they're located at, and also some other key ends that we may find that are very useful for our users. It's kind of like the bar bill or the annotation scale, the cart plotting if you're wanting to print from the cart, that's where you do that at. The element extractor for like your right away stuff. Excel to MicroStation, which is taking a certain Excel sheet that we have for doing our quantities and taking that data and bringing it into MicroStation. That's where you'd use that particular tool. Some other Geopack utilities. This is where you'd also place a border, depending on if you're in the bridge division or in the design division. If you just want to go out there and you got some geometry created and you want to place a border around it, that's where you get to place that border at. And then also the project wise start job add user if you need to do that for starting a new project. And along with auto turn for doing turn, turning races for maybe like design an entrance or an intersection and stuff like that. We have the email pull down, which I need the email pull down. If you go down through here and select depend on what application that you're using, whether it's Geopack Power Geopack Drainage or Power Geopack Road or Survey or Project Wise. If you need ever need any help using that particular application and you want to send an email to us, you can simply go down through here, select that particular user, and then after that, it'll put that user's name and actually send the email to that user after you put in your, your message that you're wanting to send. And then last but not least is your help pull down. This is where you, hate, you have some of your help documentation for MicroStation or Power Geopack, and you'll see a bunch of different stuff underneath there for like the quick start job. We also have two custom ones that we have underneath there for our CAD support staff. So if you select it, they'll actually go out to the, the web page and actually show you all the people that work here at CAD support. So if you have a certain issue, you could actually find that user, find them, and send an email to that person, depending on who it is. Also, we, you can go to the CAD services wiki page. And that's where we kind of kind of have most of our documentation that we do in house here at MoDOT placed at. I mean, we have a lot of stuff underneath there, so that's good help documentation for certain applications that we do or certain procedures. That's a good place to get to that. And then the rest of these down below here is just the standard MicroStation help that comes with the product. So if you ever need help using a certain tool, you could always give us a call at CAD support, or you could also go through the MicroStation help and look and see how that particular tool works. So that's a brief overview of the pull downs within MicroStation and where they're located at.